Hi you guys, welcome back to our channel and today I want to talk about what's in our goat medicine cabinet. So if you're new to goats, you want to start building up a medicine cabinet for your goats. It could be life or death situation. If you are prepared, you can save your goat's life. We have a ton of stuff we've been collecting for a few years now, but I want to go over some of the things that are important to have in your cabinet and show you what I have. So start out with some of the basic things we have some hippoglens this is like a very strong soap and what we use this for is to clean out wounds or if your doe gets little bumps on her udder called staph you will use this to clear it right up so you need some of this we have some vet rx and this is kind of like a Vicks vapor rub for goats when they have snotty noses or congested. You can put some of this in their nostrils. I have a cabinet right over our milking area sink and that has some stuff in it. We have some gloves, especially around kidding season, you need those. You wanna have a good antibiotic from your veterinarian. The stuff you can buy at the feed store, I think it's called like LA 200, really isn't strong enough to save a life. When you have pneumonia or mastitis or something like that, you need some of this. We have some Resflor Gold here from my veterinarian. Next, I have some vitamin C. This is for horses, it's like a high dose vitamin C powder. And anytime the weather changes, or you're going to shows, or anything like that, giving them some vitamin C is so important. It'll help prevent um, sickness in your goats. We also have it in like a pill form that I've given them before. We have some coccidia wormer. We have some ivermectin wormer. And we have some keto strips for ketosis checking pregnant does. Sunscreen for when you shave your goats. You always want to spray them so they don't get sunburn. We have some rubbing alcohol. And then this is like soap and bleach for our milk machine. Next I have a little cabinet over here. In here, we have cornstarch, because this will stop bleeding, kind of like a blood stop powder, which we also have that as well. And we have this for spraying umbilical cords. It's like an iodine spray. We have some sheep and goat liquid B12, Nutri-Drench. We have some iodine for wound care we have some aspirin powder we have some omega-3 plus energy drench and some other random things in here calcium gluconate is good for giving if your doe's kidding and her labor is slowing down, you can give them some of that. Vitamin B complex, it's injectable. And I think that's about it in here. Yeah. We also have some calcium in a paste form and um, some banamine, which is also, a, you'll need a prescription from your vet to get that. It's like a pain killer. Upstairs, I keep this little cabinet as well. And we have some other stuff in here. Um, not a lot, but we have some stuff for our AI equipment. Um, syringes and needles. <laughs> All different sizes especially these little tiny ones for baby goats let's see 
Lots of different things here. Activated charcoal in case they eat something poisonous. We have vitamin B gel, and then we have lots of colostrum placement. And that's something else. Whole box of syringes. What do you think, guys? You think our AI worked? You think Dottie's bred? I don't think so. But you never know. It's always worth a try. Lemon! Alright, we have successfully bred everyone except for Mavis and Dottie, which we wanted to breed later on. And so we'll breed them their next cycle. Well, actually we did that AI on Dottie, so we're waiting to see if that went through. I don't think it did, but there's a possibility. There's also a possibility on Lemon. I did leave her with Drogo for the day. I don't know if he ever successfully bred her. I don't think so. So we'll have to do Lemon, Mavis, and Dottie on the next round. But Trudy, uh, Lula, and Maple and Sugar are bred. Maple's bread. I thought you were ready too, Shuggy. Yay. Shuggy. Not having it. They're about 14 days past breeding right now, so we will ultrasound them in about 10 more days or so, and then we'll know for sure that they're bred. But most likely they are. So Lemon was in with Drogo, but he's not very mature yet, so it probably didn't work. It'll be a interesting surprise to see. I just couldn't watch any more of the him trying, it was frustrating. So I just left them for the day. If he got it, he got it. If he didn't, he didn't. All the young girls are growing nicely. We have Chai, Razzles, and Juno. And in this side we have Lemon, Lula, Maple, Davis, Trudy, and Sugar. And Dottie. Lemon? I am so excited to see our first Mavis daughters freshen. So we'll get to see if they have udders like Mavis. And that's going to be really exciting. And it'll be fun to see if they have lots of multiples. Because the Mavis line does have quads and quints a lot of the times. So it'll be interesting to see if they follow the same, the same path. And both of those girls are pulled, so their kids could be pulled as well. Mavis, you ready to be grandma? What do you think? So I thought I would just show you guys a little bit of what's in my medicine cabinet. If you're planning on starting a medicine cabinet, now is a good time to start stocking up. And you can stock up little by little. We're always adding things, but I thought I would show you a little bit of what we have. So thank you for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time.